Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently we have made a video on comparing the pros and cons of F-18 and Rafale M, the naval version of Rafale. Both the fighters are potent platform with their own pros and cons. Either way, Indian Navy is going to get the most advanced fighter jet for its soon to be commissioned ISE Vikrant. What is new is that the deal for these 26 deck based fighter jet is going to be under direct government to government deal. This is going to enable the delivery of these fighter jets much faster, maybe in two years timeline or less after the deal is inked. Out of these 26 fighters, 18 are going to be single seat variant and another 8 are going to be trainer twin seat variant. There was also news that the Navy might lease fighters for operations for some time. The possibilities for the same has been denied by the MOD officials. Now Rafale M has already performed the trials from SBTF Goa and has proven its capability for short takeoff and arrested landing. Two F-18s are currently undergoing the trials at SBTF Goa and is expected to complete it by mid of June. These trials are being evaluated by the Naval Aviation Wing of Indian Navy. Post the completion of trials, Indian Navy will submit the report based on which next deck based fighter jet for Indian Navy will be selected. While both the fighters have proven the capabilities of short takeoff and arrested landing, the four other important factors that are going to play key role in the selection are fitment of the fighter jet in the lift, trainer variant of the fighter jet, MRO facility and optical landing system or OLS. F-18s are much bigger in dimension when compared with Rafale M. However, their foldable wings enable them to easily fit into the lift of ISC Vikrant. We had doubt about its length and when asked the Boeing's MD, he has clarified that that's not an issue and F-18 fits into the lift. At the same time, the fitment of Rafale in the lift is going to be challenging because it fits only after its wing tip being removed. Now this will increase the overall time of the fighter to be combat ready. However, due to small overall dimension, 14 Rafales can fit over the deck of Vikrant whereas only 10 or 11 F-18s can fit in there. Training plays a key role in naval aviation as it's very challenging to perform the short takeoff and arrested landing from a deck based aircraft carrier. A slight miscalculation or misjudgment can either overshoot the fighter off the deck or it can fall in the sea. Therefore, training of pilots on a deck based operation is crucial. This is where FA 18 has an edge. It has two variants FA 18 C and FA 18 D. The C variant is single seater and D variant is twin seater. The D model can be configured for training or as an all weather strike aircraft. The FA-18 Super Hornet also has two variant E single seater and F twin seater. The missionized twin seater model's rear seat is configured for a naval aviator who function as a weapon and sensor officer to assist in operating the weapon systems. At the same time, Rafale M does not have a twin seat variant for deck based operation. It does have twin seat variant but for land based operations. The MRO is not going to be an issue for both the fighters. F-18 uses the same family of engine that is GF-404 which powers HL Tejas but slightly different variant. The Indian version is called F-404 GEIN-20 which generates thrust of 85kN with afterburner. The engine used in F-18 is F-404 G-402 with slightly less thrust of 79kN with afterburner. Indian military is using various other aircraft from Boeing such as PATIs, Chinook helicopters and C-17 heavy lift aircraft and going to use same MRO facility for F-18. The DRAL maintenance repair and overhaul facility which is a joint venture between Dassault Aviation and Anil Ambani's Reliance Group will be functional from 2023. This facility will provide service, maintenance and overhaul for all Indian Air Force Rafale fighter jets and same can be used for Rafale M if selected. The optical landing system or OLS also called Meatball is used to give glide path information 
टू पायलट्स इन द टर्मिनल फेज ऑफ लैंडिंग ऑन एन एयरक्राफ्ट कैरियर इफ पायलट सीज अ रेड लाइट एट द बॉटम इट मीन्स द एयरक्राफ्ट इज डेंजरसली लो इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सिस्टम फॉर लैंडिंग द एयरक्राफ्ट ऑन द एयरक्राफ्ट कैरियर रफाल एम कैन ऑपरेट विद एग्जिस्टिंग ओ एल एस ऑफ विक्रांत हाउ एवर एफ ए एटीन कैन नॉट एंड विल रिक्वायर मॉडिफिकेशन इन एयरक्राफ्ट कैरियर टू ऑपरेट नाउ दिस इज द ओनली मेजर डिसएडवाटेज वट वी कैन सी विद एफ एटीन दिस वॉज टूडेज अपडेट प्लीज लेट अस नो वट इज योर व्यूज अबाउट दीज इन कमेंट सेक्शन Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.